Hi everybody, Patty Kamara here. I just want to talk a little bit today about um, some possible lesson plan thoughts when we go back um, during the whole social distancing and all that. Just real quickly, um, people are gonna want to see games and those kids running because those kids have been cooped up in their house. So, um, you know, get some games, have them run around, um, do props. And you might say, oh, props, we don't wanna have props, you have to clean props. But there's so many good, fun things to do with um, props that just don't use anything that's got material or fur, or, you know, any kind of stuffed animals or, you know, anything that's got, um, you know, something that would have to be washed versus just something you could clean real quickly. So do that. Um, number two, um, bar stations. That's kind of going to be a tough one. You know how we used to do things like, say you have five sets of bars and you have five kids and you would have one child doing, you know, straddle soul circle uh, dismount here. You'd have one child doing uh, front support mount. You'd have one child here doing something and then they would rotate, you know, rotate, rotate. No, no, no. In classes, you're going to have to keep those kids at that particular bar and then change the skills, not change the kids. So you wouldn't have that much cleanup afterwards because um, you can't do it after every child and then they rotate around. Uh, balance beams, scrub your balance beams. People are asking me questions like, can you wash your balance beams? Uh, what are we gonna do about that? I'm not gonna do it after every child. You'll do it after every rotation if you feel that's important. And this is only at the beginning here. Once things go back to somewhat normal, um, people, our customers are gonna be expecting more cleaning, but they're not gonna expect you to clean it after every rotation. They're gonna expect you to have a clean facility. Um, and while I'm talking about that, don't use the word sanitize. I'm not going to sanitize or you're going to um, use any kind of word like that because you can't guarantee that. So it's just better to say super clean or we're going to clean a lot or we're going to um, update our cleaning or we're going to, you know, make it a little hard, uh, more thorough, that type of thing. But don't use the words like um, sanitize. Um, okay, three all me's. You know, three all me's our kids that uh, usually go by themselves, well, we're gonna have the moms come in. Any classes, three and under, all have to have kids. And these parents are gonna be the ones that are gonna determine whether they grab their kids or hold their kids or whatever and not let them run, because you can't social distance three-year-olds. So we're gonna ask the moms to come in for those classes for the first couple months. And if you're gonna be teaching with masks, which I don't recommend, but if you're gonna be teaching with masks, those little ones are gonna be afraid of you. So that mom might need to be there anyway. To social distance those kids out, we're gonna have them wear a hula hoop and they go to the next event and then sit in the hula hoop because that way it will instantly set them apart. Or you could have them carry you know, a poly dot or whatever um, so they can carry it and sit there. You know, high fives are gonna be gone for a while, but Flag House has, and most of those uh, Norberts and uh, supply companies have these giant hands and they're like rubbery like hands. They're about the size of my arm here anyway. And then it has a stick on it so you can high five them that way without touching hand to hand and you wipe it down real quick with a, a rag or whatever and you're, you're finished. But um, so those are some of the ideas uh, for lesson plan plan ideas during this. Um, the main thing is that most of the lesson plans you do can be used because you're already spread out with equipment or mats. You know, when you have rainbow mats and you say, uh, everybody get on a yellow, they're already spread out and they know exactly where they're going. They're not gonna be touching anyone. That's the goal. It's not so someone's touching each other and that close enough. So it's easier, I think, in a gymnastics school than some things. So anyway, hope this has been helpful. Just wanted to drop a few little ideas to you. So keep it strong, keep it healthy. Thanks.